section number ten of stories and pictures this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by linda marie nielsen bellevue washington stories and pictures by i l peretz translated by helena frank section ten in time of pestilence the town takes fright it is coming oi it is already near in the villages round about people are in peril of death lord of the world what is to be done thou shalt not open thy mouth for satan the name of the pestilence may not cross the lips but fear descends on every heart like a stone and every day there is worse news in apt a water carrier carrying his cans has fallen dead in the street in ostrovitz they have made post-mortem examinations on two jews in brotikoff there is a doctor with a student from warsaw Ratchliff is isolated they let nobody out or in random is surrounded by a chain of cossacks in zomir heaven defend us they say people are falling like flies a terror trade slackens piousness increases dealers in produce are afraid to leave the spot big yossel has already sold his horse and wagon it's a pity about the oats the produce brokers tighten the belt across their empty stomachs and there is daily more room in the dwellings because every friday something more is taken to be pawned against sabbath the workman sometimes even a householder will take an extra sip of brandy to put heart into him but that doesn't go far to fill the innkeeper's pocket and a peasant is seldom to be seen to make up for this the rofa's wife has removed her wig and put on a hair band a secret maskell has burnt his love of zion in public and taken to reciting psalms the bather's maidservant has gone to the rabbi and asked him how to do penance for having been in the habit of peeping into the men's bath house on fridays through a chink in the door a certain young man not to mention names has been fasting a whole month and thinks of becoming an ascetic heaven only knows for what sin some of the tailors now return remnants butchers are more liberal in their cuts only urchum shaffam asks ten per cent a month on a pawn ticket and no less with a security his heart is of flint and faces grow yellow and livid lips blue-brown eyes look large and round and heads droop and the street is hushed small scattered groups men and women apart stand and hold voiceless conversations heads are shaken hands thrown out and eyes lifted to the leaden sky spread out over the little town it is quiet even in the house of study between afternoon and evening prayers on the other hand the woman's gallery in the shul is full every few minutes a piteous cry comes through the grating and the men feel their hair and nails tingle there is coal nidri every night and people are bathed in tears what is to be done who can advise it is said that in warsaw they have started tea houses for the poor and cheap kitchens they are giving away coal clothes and food for nothing 
all their precautions all to imitate the nations of the world and perhaps to please the chief of police here other means are employed mere baleness wonder workers and famous charms saturday evening as soon as it is dark candles of blessing are stuck in the windows outside the town vassal has a mill the stakes shall be conveyed away by night and buried in holy ground an orphan boy shall be married to an orphan girl and every possible thing of the kind only only these charms have been from everlasting and yet when there was the plague of eighteen twenty nine the entire market-place was grass-grown with only a pathway or two in the middle trodden by those who carried the dead besides and worse even than the plague itself there is disinfection isolation and heaven have mercy on us post-mortems no man can live for ever nor can he die more than once but death and life are in the hands of the all-merciful weeping prayer and confession these help alms-giving is a remedy but the other things mean falling into the hands of men they suck the marrow out of your bones it costs you a fortune treasure and blood and they make post-mortems they cut up a corpse heaven defend us into little pieces and bury it without a winding sheet in pitch in the hospital there is poisoning they burn innocent bedding or they make a ring of cossacks and people may starve to death or devour each other as they choose ha one must be up and doing and not let the enemy into the town candles of blessing are already in the windows side glances are being cast at vassal's mill and a marriage between two orphans is under discussion and the terror increases day by day one had hoped that the calamity would pass away with the summer with the great heat these are all over the solemn days too now thank god it is after tabernacles one feels the cold in one's bones it snows a little not unfrequently and the pestilence creeps on and on may god watch over us and protect us end of section 10 Recording by Linda Marie Nielsen, Bellevue, Washington.